Hello everyone, I'm going to quickly introduce you to the best grinding spot that I've found. It's basically a chain of three events that always happen like right after each other and it never takes more than five minutes to wait on the event. So you can basically do like over 15 events an hour and it gives you more than one level an hour. Uh, so you can just grind here for like a shitload of items, a shitload of salvage materials and very fast experience. I don't really suggest doing it if you're not a fan of just grinding mindlessly. It's probably better to just explore everything yourself, but I want to show you the option. So, first off, you start here at the bridge. You should never have to wait more than 5 minutes for this event to start. As soon as this event will, is done, there will spawn 3 adds here. You just immediately run to them and kill them. And as soon as you kill those 3 adds, there will be spawning 1 elite here. So, you have 3 events. Once they're done, you just go back there and you should have the event restart again in like 2 or 3 minutes. Uh, in those 2 or 3 minutes, you can go to this waypoint and go to this fender to sell some stuff, salvage a bit, whatever. Do what you want and just immediately go back here and restart it. It's really, really good experience and you can do it for like till level 35 or 40 or something. And you can start it on like about level 15 or whatever. I'll just show you like a full playthrough of this one. Uh, one thing to keep in mind though is that this particular event at the bridge is really really random. It can take 1 minute and it can take like 5 to 10 minutes. It's really random because the spawn rate of the centaurs it's just... There's no logic behind it man. They just spawn whenever they want to in whatever amount they want to. They don't care about making people wait. As you can see now I'm having a very slow one, usually it's much faster this event. But that, as always, when you try to make a vid showing something is fast, it always will go slow, like, that's karma. And I love the jumping function in Guild Wars 2 now, I just keep jumping around. So yeah, this is actually the slowest first event I've ever had, so... Fuck my life, fuck my luck. <laughs> Also, a friend of mine, well, a guildmate actually, has done this for like 10 levels, and he's the one who showed me. And he's he's leveled to like 20 to 30 in the time that I leveled from 23 to 27, so it is way faster than normal leveling. Now it's not that obvious because the first part is really going crappy slow at the moment, but uh, the second and the third part will always be going fast, so... Don't have to worry about that. It's just the first time that might sometimes take a bit longer than other times. Because the centaurs just spawn completely random. Sometimes they will be coming like one every second. Other times it will really take like half a minute for one to come. I'm trying to figure out how like how it comes that uh, they spawn so slow sometimes. But whatever. I've been doing it now for two levels and it's really been working good. Really been consistent and very fast. And you're quite like, you're getting kind of a lot of salvage mats also. <coughs> Sorry for that. Okay, so this part is almost done. Also when like the morale is like like at 5% of something, you can already go to the next part. The events will always immediately follow each other. I don't know if it's a bug or something, or it's supposed to be like that, but I don't think you're supposed to be able to keep grinding three events like constantly. But it works, so I don't care. Also, if anyone finds something like this in a higher level area, can you like please message uh, it to me on YouTube? And if I'm, uh, if you allow me, I can make a vid of it to show more people. Yeah, really, this is the slowest first event I've ever done here. So I, I know I keep saying it, but it's just typical. When I make a vid, everything goes wrong.
And I always make sure to do damage on all the centaurs that arrive because that way you get way more experience. Now the experience is pretty terrible. But the second and the third part will always be going fast. I also guess it's because I'm playing on a Europe server and it's uh, like 5 at night at the moment. So yeah, it's an hour that like, nobody's playing at this time. This, this event goes way better if there's more people. Like at the hours that everybody was playing at the evening, this was going so fast. It's just, just insane. And it also appears like multiple people are starting to grind this because like more people are finding out how good it is. Except for the first part. Let's look at all the names. There's a random Nigel there. Oh, man, I'm just standing here. Like, just the event before this, it took us about one minute to do the entire thing here. And now I've been here for like over five minutes, so this is just so typical. Now they're coming a bit faster, I guess. Also, when there's like way more people here, they will be coming in like huge ass waves and you can AOE them all down for crazy experience. Used to be like a hundred people here. Okay, we should soon be getting to the next part. Now, then you'll be able to see how how fast that'll go, because those two parts always like the same speed, and that's when the experience starts rolling in. I guess you also get a lot of karma for it. Uh, I don't even know where I can see my karma. Ah, here, I have a seven thousand two hundred now, but. I know this dude has like a shitload of karma from it. And you also get like a lot of supply bags. Uh, really a lot of collectibles from that. Remember you can just deposit all collectibles here to your bank in case you didn't know. Some people didn't find out yet. Okay, this part should almost be finished. These are coming a bit faster now. And always, as soon as this is done, immediately start running, because the other events instantly spawn. As soon as this one is done, it will spawn. No waiting time at all. Okay. I'll just start running after this centaur, because it's a 3% now. So I'll get gold anyway. Might as well kill these two. Okay, so event succeeded. I just run immediately and you can see they will spawn there. Well, you can't see yet, actually. Oh, there they are already. And it's always instantly. It, like, never takes a while. And you have, like, a time limit to kill them, but it's no problem. There should always be enough people. Because, like, as you can see, there's, uh, there's a few people who are doing this route, just repeating it. And I know it sounds boring, but actually doing this isn't that boring. It's quite enjoyable because you can keep killing stuff. Like, it's not a single gathering event or something, it's all kill events. And at the end there's even a boss. Let me just get to the first lieutenant here. And the second and the third event is always very fast. Uh, if you have a lot of people, they usually split up between the three and then it goes even way faster. Okay, that one is down. Just pulling the next one. And you should have a gold medal for every event also, because you're there from the start. 
It's good to get guild influence also. And of course a lot of supply bags. I've done it for like 40 minutes and I had over 40 supply bags. So that's like one supply bag a minute. And a lot of stuff to salvage. I'm probably going to get like a few levels as soon as I use all my mats. Oh, almost rolled, <laughs> rolled down the hill there. Okay, and now, as soon as this guy dies, it will be another gold medal and another event. See? The boss spawned there, so... Basically, we go kill the boss now, and after that, it's just rinse and repeat. And don't forget, the bridge is usually way faster. Just took ages this time. Just jump down here, save some time. And because it's a boss, it might take a while to kill him, like two minutes or something, but it's worth it to spend two minutes for an event. And you can basically almost AFK the last event. You just auto attack him and you just sit there. Okay, he should be coming soon. Yeah, it's, it's basically the hour. It's a bit too late for it now, but whatever. Even now with waiting at the bridge for like way too long, it's still very good experience. And I'm also out leveling the area. Ah, here he is. So yeah, usually there should be like enough people to just auto attack AFK this. So that's what I'm going to do. But I don't suggest doing this on like an em elementalist or something, but if you're like a class... Well, doing the last thing, I mean. If you're like a class that has like almost all of its damage from single targets from auto attacks, just do that. Doesn't matter too much. You can play one handed if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so now when you do. So, once this is done, you just take this waypoint, sell your stuff, salvage, go back to the bridge, and restart. And I've never had to wait more than 5 minutes at the bridge to get it started. Usually it's even almost instant. But I'm, I'm not going to try and go to the bridge again now because I know as soon as I make a vid, it'll be taking a while. For some mysterious reason. Even after doing it 20 times, that one time it will go worse. Okay, so normally it takes like 10 to 12 minutes to do those three events. I guess it's been quite a bit longer now because of bad luck, but you should be able to get like one level each 40 minutes or something. It should be faster than exploring the area, way faster actually. Also, if people have like something to say about my build or whatever, this is my first time playing Guild Wars. I did not play Guild Wars 1. I did not really look up a lot, so if you have any suggestions, you can tell them to me. I've been going condition damage with Bleeds now because I feel like the Bleeds are really good because they just keep stacking on the enemy. It's not like in World of Warcraft where you can only have one of each bleed. Well, they're not called Bleeds there, but whatever. Where you can only have one of each dot. Okay, so this guy is almost dead. As you can see, even at this hour of the day, there's still people doing it. Let's randomly go dead shroud. I should actually remember to go Dash Route more because it's really quite strong on a Necromancer. Okay, and that guy's down. That's another thousand experience. So now, just go back to this waypoint, run to the bridge and repeat. So, I hope you guys like it. I know it's a grind, but whatever, it's for people who actually want to do it. So, have fun. Hope you like it.